So on April 3rd, 2015, I was diagnosed with triple negative grade three invasive ductal carcinoma, breast cancer. So my story started um, one evening, I noticed a small lump in my left breast and I knew it was different. So I decided to watch it for a couple weeks and when it didn't go away, I called my doctor and he immediately referred me for a mammogram. And um, I have a family history and aunt on both sides of my family who have gone through breast cancer and are doing really well. So he referred me for a mammogram and I went in, I got in fairly, fairly quickly and had that done. And at that point I wasn't overly concerned. I just knew there was something different. So I had my mammogram and then got a call from the breast center a few days later asking me to return for, for additional views. So at that point I was a little concerned because uh, I knew that they had seen something they wanted to look at. So I went back on a Wednesday and had an ultrasound done, but it was on the right side. So the ultrasound tech came in with a radiologist and the radiologist told me he saw two spots in my right breast that he was concerned about and wanted to biopsy. And so I asked him about the left side because that's what I had originally found. And he said, no, there was nothing there, that it, everything looked fine. So that day, the same day I went back for the ultrasound, he did the biopsies in, two, in the two areas. And at that point I knew that most likely something was going on, but still not certain. And the radiologist even said, I don't know that it's anything, I just, we need to make sure. And the biopsies will tell us what we need to know. So that was on a Wednesday. And then that following Friday, I received a call from my doctor and he was out of the office, but he knew I didn't want to go through the weekend. I had asked him, I said, if you hear anything, please let me know as soon as you know. So he called me that day on my cell phone and I was here at work at Hattiesburg Clinic. And so I stepped into the stairwell to take the call and I knew as soon as he started talking that there was something that was not right. And he told me, he said, you have two areas in your right breast that both came back as cancer. So I had my bilateral mistake to me and I did pretty well with that. I didn't have any complications from the surgery. Uh, I was very surprised. I went into the hospital, had the surgery done and I was released the next day, went home and, and did fairly well in the beginning, um, no complications. So after healing some from my mastectomy and talking back with my surgeon, he did refer me to an oncologist. And um, that was a huge learning experience for us. And so we, we met with the oncologist, went over all of our options. And again, because of many factors, and I, and I, do, I don't like to say because of my age, because I hear more and more stories of younger women being diagnosed with cancer, so I don't think women should think I'm young and it's not going to happen to me so I feel a lump so I'm not going to worry about it because it is happening so but for medical reasons right now that is one of the factors that they look at is your age and um, that I had the two areas and the type of cancer it was um, my oncologist recommended that I go through eight rounds of chemo but no radiation because none of my lymph nodes were infected so I didn't have to do any radiation during my treatment. So I started my chemo and um, had a lot of support and a lot of love from a lot of people, which is always very helpful. Um, but I, you know, this, one of the big side effects with chemo is the loss of hair. And I, I did have <laughs> that happen. Um, and a few other small things, but nothing major uh, that I, I, I know that I could have faced. But um, one of my big things with losing my hair is uh, I have a seven, a seven year old, or she was seven at that point. <clears throat> and um, her big concern, like one, eight, one morning when we were getting ready to leave and after wearing scarves for a few days, I just decided just to go natural because I just felt like that's, that was me. I couldn't do the wig thing. I tried it and I couldn't do it. And I did the scarves, but then I decided, you know what? It's it's what's going on in my life and I'm going to embrace it and I'm going to be okay. 
But um, she looked at me at one morning and said, Mom, I don't want anybody to laugh at you for not having hair. So, you know, the cancer didn't just affect me, it affected my family. And I mean, that, that was a, you know, a big learning, a learning moment for us. Because I, I mean, I was able to explain to Addison it's not a, you know, a person is not about what they look like or what they may wear or um, how they, how you think they should look. It's really about a person and it's about loving a person. So there were lots of good moments that came out of, you know, those times that were the harder times, but there were such good moments that came from those times. So. I'm very thankful for that. But um, I got through my chemo. I did, I worked as much as I could through my chemo. And I think that was just part of me um, wanting to keep things as normal as possible at home for my family and for myself, that I do better with that. I do better with a steady routine and with knowing what's gonna happen. And um, so that was kind of my way of dealing with the diagnosis and getting through it and I think that helped me tremendously on days that I could come to work just go to work and everything felt normal that day so through this breast cancer diagnosis I learned and my family learned very quickly that you just have to be still you have to be patient and with lots of prayer and lots of love and support you can get through anything and that was one of my favorite verses and still is Exodus 14 and 14 the Lord will fight for you you need only be still and I learned that's what I had to do I just had to be still I couldn't fix everything I couldn't figure out the process any sooner than I was getting it from my healthcare professionals I just had to be still um, for me early detection was key and I, I think that would be advice I would give to other women is if you feel like something is not right with your body always listen to your body and call your doctor for me there was nothing going on on the left side but because I found that I was able to get in and it saved my cancer from spreading and possibly even my life because of the aggressiveness of the cancer so always listen to your body um, I would have to say to anybody that is facing the journey of breast cancer to let others help you and love you to embrace your journey everybody's journey is different nobody's journey is going to be the same and it's okay to choose what path is best for you and for anybody that's that encounters someone facing breast cancer to love them and to support them and to help them because that does mean a lot when you're going through that journey um, and I had a lot of that love and support and I'm so thankful for that. I am humbled, grateful, thankful, and stronger because of this journey. My name is Marlena and I'm a breast cancer survivor.